Hi guys, I am making a Darius movie with this video, so this is going to be the first of many games that we be playing with the new Season 11 Darius setup. And uh, my my objective is to play as many Darius builds as possible, kind of like what I did with my Trinimer, um video, my Trinimer movie. With as many Darius builds as possible to kind of showcase uh, what Darius is capable of in Season 11, so that's the idea. The, um... Yeah, I think I'm against Urgot. Looks like he's leashing. The trimmer mid has smite. Let's start Doran's blade. Interesting. Oh, it's actually a Garen versus Trimmer mid. Right, it's mine. I think Urgot missed a minion. I use the bush. Thank you for the advice during season 10. Took my rank from bronze 2 over 1 to gold 4 promos. Nice. I think I got a really good trade on him. Okay. I wanted to get him before he leveled up from the minions. Nice. Hey, Head Chef Mikey, thanks for a sub for 6 months. Oh, wait. <laughs> He's DPing back here. I just walk away. Uh, against that team, I mean, they're full AD, right? So, I think I just rush tabs. That's... So, I think the setup that I'm going to do this game is going to be probably, like, the most standard Darius setup I can think of. I'm trying to think why I went for my, um... My item. This one looks kind of cool. So it's like Magic Pen, which is this. Oh, nice. Hecarim killed the, uh, the Jax in the jungle. Um... Well, honestly, let's try the Gore Drinker. I mean, this looks pretty cool. Or I could just go Trendy. Ah, uh, we'll go Trendy just because the attack speed is really nice for all ends. I don't think I can hold this way if it's too big. I think I'll lose way too much HP trying to hold the wave. Oh, I should have pulled him right there. If I had pulled him after him taking turret shot, it would kill them. So, I think the next build I'm going to do for next game, I'm going to do a Hail of Blade setup. Nice. Just barely got him. He was looping around on me, but... Alright, let me, um... Get this shoved in. I don't think I can get a plate. Before five minutes, the turret has 50% damage reduction. Uh, where's it? Yeah, right here. So this fortification bonus blocks 50% of uh, damage of incoming damage. So, yeah. Before then, we really don't want to look for that. Hmm. I think I'm going to get this. Um, I'm going to grab this. I think I'm going to go towards Trinity. It's actually really cool that they uh, made the Hearthbound, Hearthbound Axe building in Trinity. Because before... On Season 11 PB, the Trinity Force didn't have, like, a Phage-like passive, which now it does. So, although it's not on abilities, it's on auto attacks only. But it increases my base attack damage by 6%. Second to five times is pretty cool. Hey, Lorenz J81, thanks for up for uh, 16 months, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. We're uh, really preparing for uh, Season 11 here. Ooh. I'm gonna save my E to do into my Q like this, and I should get him. So you always with Darius, you want to use your E or your W to set up a Q. And you see how, like, you don't always have to lead with your with your pull. Like, if you're able to just walk up on him, like, absolutely, you should just go and do that. Let's get my executioners for my healing. He should probably go for the Tabby's route, too. Just because, uh, yeah, he needs that move speed to kite me out. Or else I'm just going to be able to run him down. I'm going to have one plate and not back. 
Uh, actually, I might back now. I have enough gold to get Kindle Gem and Longsword, which is all the I really need. I don't think getting this plate would get me any other item. Yeah, having an extra 160 gold wouldn't have gotten me anything else. That was fine. I want to put down my, um, my pink. But I've actually just been... Oh, man. This Jax is really far behind. Yeah, I don't even know if I need my pink. Maybe I place it in his jungle when I push up. Yeah, I'll place it in his jungle when I push up. And I will, um... Maybe try to get Hecarim some extra vision so he can keep invading. You the mascot. Oh, I the pathing path took me into that queue. That sucked. Somebody has to be me. Might as well be me. Looks like there's some fighting going on over here. Uh, Urgot's on the way? Uh oh. Don't grenade easy. Nice. I made sure to pull him. Alright, I want to make sure he lived. <laughs> Probably a wasted uh, ulti there, but yeah, we take this. Hey, True Shiro, I'm glad you, you think my spreadsheet's so helpful, man. I'll be making uh, updates to my spreadsheet for Season 11 uh, when the preseason comes out with the Season 11 content. So you guys be looking forward to that. How am I feeling about the new season? I think a lot of the actives on the new mythic items are really fun to play with. Like, I'm definitely going to do, like, a Prowler's Claw on Darius, too. For for the extra dash and the percent armor pen. I think could be really fun. With, like, a Lethality Darius build. Maybe I'd do that with my Hail Blades. And then I got to do, like, a Crit Darius with, uh, with my W. Just dealing massive damage. I think it'd be pretty cool. When's the new season start? I think the end of the season is the 15th, if I remember correctly. I'm um, actually not totally sure on that. Um, let's see. You know, we're probably going to be building plenty of ruby crystals this game. Going to, like, Dead Man's probably is going to be the next item after Trinity. So, I think I'll, um, I think I'll just build the ruby crystals since I don't have enough for Sheen. I still want to be going into Trinity. But I want to be as strong as possible in the rebank. Oh, the end of the season is the 9th? Really? Someone said the 10th, too? Okay, I didn't realize it was that close. Better call traveling, cause I'm going Anyways, let me shut up. Nice. Like the only I got. And we're stomping this game. Yeah, we'll do some spicy builds for this movie. I'm the full Is that okay? So I got TP. I think I could just straight up kill him. Should I do it to him though? I feel like he's not even able to play the game. He's just kind of dying. What? Oh. My, uh, my bleed kept me in aggro. I was wanting the Hecarim to take aggro there. Like, I, I did this damage, I beat out his E, and then I backed out. I was gonna let the Hecarim take aggro, then I was gonna go back in, but my bleed actually triggered aggro before it could hit. Oh, is the Trinmer coming up? Wait, don't I just kill Trinmer too? He's kinda weak. Got a Noon Quiver? Uh, actually, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna see here. I see the trimmer there on my pink. I think I'll sell my Doran shield for the Trinity Force. I think it'll be so worth. 
Yeah, I love how much move speed this is gonna give me. Oh wait, what happened to my pink? I didn't see who killed it. What the ref doesn't see is legal. I didn't even need to ulti. Wow, that Trinity Force does damage, huh? Wow, the Trinity Force spike was actually real. Yeah, I think I might go like W Max with that. That would be pretty fun. Oh, I just saved Tekram. Oh my gosh, the the W plus twenty force damage is actually so insane. Wait, he actually just left me. All right, cool. Yeah, I was gonna do W into Q, and then I was gonna do a pull into Q if he went on to me there. <sighs> hmm. Should I take this red? I mean, it seems like the Jax AFK, right? Yeah, I think the Hecarim forced the Jax to rage quit. So I guess I'll take this red. Don't mind if I do. And before random Urga ulti just snipes me. Okay, let's grab Deadman's. Oh, it can be a little bit tanky. Ooh, wait! Deadman's builds out of a move speed health item. That's pretty cool. Wait, that's actually really... I like how they're doing this. So they have a bunch of tank items in Season 11, or just a bunch of items in general, that just straight up just give move speed. So... Here. Here are the, all the items that give movement speed. Look at this. There is so much move speed packed in this game. 5% move speed. So they have a tank item, an AP item, and uh, a fighter item, and a uh, marksman item that gives move speed. So there's actually going to be a bunch of move speed packed into Season 11. I can gather. Wait, isn't this good for me? Oh no. I can't move. <sighs> the Urgot got the ulti on me right before he died, so I actually couldn't W into my Q there. That was so sad. That was tragic. Yeah, I actually couldn't move. Okay. We should all just run it down here. Alright, so uh, let's run up towards top. Might be able to force them into an FF here, we'll see. Fighter trend or marksman trend in Season 11? Honestly, there's going to be a bunch of different trend builds. If you guys want to, you guys can watch my Trimmer movie that I've already made. And uh, that, that'll be really good to watch. If you want to see all the trend builds, because I went through all the trend builds in in one video, one long three-hour video. What you didn't see? Watch it.
Can we get a York movie? Uh, we'll see about that, man. I don't think the majority of people like watching York. But people like watching my Darius. Wait. Hello there. Hey, Shaggy Smash, thanks for a sub for 20 months, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. As one says, Seraphine. <laughs> she just keeps insta dying. Alright, GG. Oh, I can't type right now. And at this time, we're gonna be going a full move speed build. Looks like, uh. Looks like my jungler is cheesing the red buff, so I'm gonna start here. Oh, looks like they're cheesing our red buff. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, looks like you got it. Alright, so we're gonna be going to like a full like movement speed build. We're gonna go fast. That's the idea for this Darius build I'm doing today. Somebody has to be me. Might as well be Wave here. Damn. Open nice if I got the Q on him. I leash and he didn't. Four months pause. I got decent damage on him. There's no eye in you, but there is one in Get found. Oh no. He stopped. I thought he'd be running away from me. Alright, I think we got destroyed on these trades. Unfortunately, Renekton's gonna win against me early. Watch it. coming up. Nice. Garen got the first blood. Oh, nice. You know what? I'm gonna say I set that up. I'm just gonna lead the wave like this. We should be fine. Should push back to me with the number of minions he has. Got a little bit extra, right? Uh, we'll go double thorns then. Oh, wow, actually, really good. You see how the wave's shoving back towards us? I hate that PB's on 73 ping. Nice. And since the Renekton didn't TP, you probably didn't realize how screwed up his wave was. I don't play the game. Max Q. Honestly, I probably should just flash on him there. Because I would have um, procced my phase rush, right? I think phase rush can be really good against their team later. Especially with how much they like dash around and can kite. Watch it. 
I had to do that pretty perfectly to not only be able to get the, um... Not only able to get the, uh, the Q heal proc for the extra damage, but also to be close enough so I can get the W right after. I think we're good, though. Alright, I'm gonna build into Tabbies, since they're all physical damage, right? Be pretty good. Darius flash Q was clean. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. What the ref doesn't see is legal. All right, so since we're going like a full move speed build, I kind of want to like, I mean, look at their team; they're really squishy, right? I kind of want to build into like yo moves first. All right, what mythic item should I build for like a speed build, though? Let's take a look at the uh, all the mythic items here. Which one gives move speed? Ooh, Gale Force gives move speed. That could be pretty high. Anything else? Yeah, I think I think Gale Force. Oh, or Shirelia's. Uh, it's gotta be Gale Force. Yeah, I think we build Gale Force. It's the only one that gives move speed, right? If we want to do a full move speed build, because uh, each legendary item with Gale Force gives percent move speed. So we'll build Tabbies into Gale Force, and then we can build um, like Yomu's, uh, Dead Man's Plate, just like all the move speed items. That would could be a uh, super speed Darius. When you finish training, Stride Breaker gives percent move speed too. That's not. Uh oh, it does. Yeah, maybe we actually go Stride Breaker. Just because uh, I don't, I'm not building any other crit items, right? She can't get any more damage on him. He didn't die. Damn, that was close. Oh, he really dodged the Q. Damn. Rip. That sucks. I was gonna move by him. Do I play Wild Rift? It's not available in the US, is it? If it is, I gotta try it. Am I playing with fans? I'm playing on the uh, the PB. Um, they took out normal drafts, so I'm doing the uh, the rank flex on uh, on the PB. Alright, I messed up against the Kha'Zix, but we're bringing it back. Wait, what did Darius just say? Don't hate the player, hate yourself? Yikes, man. Alright, what's Stride Breaker build out of? Okay, we can get the Hearthbound Axe. Actually, wait, this build setup is really good for Darius. Attack damage, attack speed, and move speed in that item? Wait, this item is actually broken on Darius. And I could build Kindle Gem too. A little bit of buildy haste. Why does my hack armor have two sheens? Um, because two sheens is better than one. Is Sheen passive not unique? Yeah, it is, right? Oh, wait. Is it not? Does it stack? 
I mean, it doesn't say unique on it, does it? It doesn't. Surely it is, though, right? Oh, that was so clean. Actually, Face Rush feels really good into Renekton when you're ahead, just because if you're able to get that pull, even if he double dashes away, you can actually still run him down. Holy shit. Plus six is mid right now, so I don't have to worry about anything. Alright, um, let's get the whip, right? So this whip is actually going to help me a little bit, because it's going to help me proc my face rush too, right? Oh, Hacker on one send that Renekton. Renekton has no ulti, right? He just used it on me? Oh. As Hacker just uh, owns him. Yeah, I mean he had he had no uh no ulti there and no flash. That's flash. I could just go down and get this. I'm gonna say I set up that kill on the Cossacks previously. I'm gonna be completely honest, Raz. It's probably gonna be impossible, at least today, to keep politics out of chat. Just because the fucking present election just won today, right? But, um. Yeah, in general, try to keep talk about League Guys. Did Nambi just solo the vein? Oh. Oh no. I'm dead. Damn, this Garen does damage. Wait, doesn't he just kill them all? I'm gonna say worth. They went after me real hard there. I got my stride breaker. We're gonna get some move speed. Get uh, let's get towards Yomus so we can get a little bit more damage. Have more actives. 
Oh, so now with the stride breaker, dealing physical damage just in general grants move speed. That's really nice. So even with my Q, I can uh, get the extra move speed. That's really good. Attack damage, a little bit of attack speed, health, and ability haste. And this also slows them. So if I do the lunge, wait, can I, can I do this? <gasps> I can, so I can use my Q and then stride breaker in like any direction to make sure I hit my Q. Wait a second, this is actually kind of broken, right? I don't Let me try this out. Wait a second. Wait, you guys see that combo? Oh boy. And it hit the slow right there, right after. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, that's so broken, actually. Oh my ward. That's probably, yeah, that's the most broken combination I've seen on Darius, actually. Because it's just, like, instant, right? And, like, it, when you do that, when you get the Q perfectly in position, it hits the Stride Breaker damage, too. Legendary. Holy shit, that's broken. Thank you. You're dying to bleed. Alright, let's get back. Let's get, um, how close are we to Yomus? A 1900? Uh, actually, I'll take this. Nice. So I like how I can synergize that perfectly, and like I can go instantly to my auto attack too. I'll be back. I'm just going back. I'll sell Doran's Blade to finish off Yumu's, and then we're going to get 20% uh, move speed and the ghosting effect too. Be really nice. And gives me a little bit of lethality, so I don't have to win that. And the move speed out of combat so I can rotate between lanes can be really good too. Hey, Cubic Donut. Thanks for a sub, man. Thank. Man, that's actually so nice. I like that this is on such a short cooldown, too. Mm, we can grab the ocean. Bane saw me heading down here. She might not expect me up here. So I'm going to be outside of vision slightly right here. Oh, I didn't get the ult off. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> That's so much damage, dude. I basically one shot the Vayne. If I got my ult off too... He just died. Oh. Wow, that's such a wide range. GG. Oh, hey, Yasuo is still here? Is he just, like, running around in base? 
12 hour stream, streaming at least six days a week. There's gonna, not going to be a set schedule, but I'm just going to be streaming all the time, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so against Jace. I think I just wait to level 3 and then just own him, right? I feel good because the couch? True. Actually, no, I, I will say my back is actually hurting a little bit because my new couch. Uh, Jace? Oh, wait, he missed a minion, pretty sure. Talent wins games, period. Tilt is a whole day process, yeah, true. I actually did that so slow. Okay, we saw Doran's blade. I made him have to potion. It's a cane jungle. I'm looking for an angle to get a pull on him, but I don't think it's possible. I think it's best we let it shove in. I, don't I need to keep my health high, that's for sure. It's all muscle Maybe this was the game for face rush. Although... Like, getting on top of him with the Hail Blades, I'm just going to own him if I can top him. It looks easy, but I'm just that good. First, no. Oh no, a bot lane. I was gonna wait till four or five stacks to use my Q, just to maximize damage on the trade. I didn't think I'd actually kill him, but burning his flash here is still really good. I've got the wave on my side. I have to remember that the Jace actually went Ignite. So he actually does have really good kill pressure on me, potentially. I think I'm going to rest Tabbies first. Just so I can stick. Because being able to move up on the Jace to be able to get that pull to start a trade is going to be really important. Plus, I mean, Tabbies just kind of owns Jace, right? Plus they have a physical damage dealing jungler. So let's go, let's go Tabby's here. Hey. And uh, actually, I kind of want to build some lethality. Yo, what if, uh, wait, where's the assassin? Ooh, maybe I, uh, maybe this is a Duskblade game. 
I think this is a Dustblade game. We can either go Dustblade or we can go Prowler's Claw. And got top him, or I can get Eclipse and uh, and get a shield and move speed when I hit with two hey, separate attacks or abilities. Actually, sounds really good too. Let me uh, let me actually. I I'm thinking about the Eclipse because I think they'll pop off in a in a bigger team fight. Shut down. And Prowler's Claw is more so for the one v one. Although Prowler's Claw onto Jace, ooh, that sounds so juicy, right? Hey, D&D Salpa, thanks for Twitch Prime. Yo, hey, what's up, man? Oh my gosh, I can't build auto. I didn't want to have to ult, but... Wait, he's just dead. Oh, <laughs> wait. I got my Hail Blades back. Oh my gosh. 15 months. I got owned. I think the Rise ulted up here too. He ulted up just to die. Hey, Killer Lunar. Thanks for Church Prime, man. And Dan Midgar LL. Thanks for Church Prime. Thank you, guys. I just went to play. Get back off. He's not gonna chase me down. I don't even think he'll keep me in the bush. Yeah, I, th I think we go Prowler's Call, guys. It sounds too good against Jace. Because I can prowl on him and just uh, insta give him, right? And we can do the same on MF later. And Prowler's Call, it does a good amount of damage. It gives me that lethality for the burst. And it, um,. Increases my damage to the target, which I think can also increase the damage on my ultimate. This is really good. I take it. Every lane is mine. An ally has been slain. Yo, Droxy with the five gifted subs. That's actually your first five gifted subs community, man. Thank you, man. Uh, I really appreciate you. Like, you're awesome. Guys, I I'm going to be honest. I feel blessed every day just to be able to... um, Just be able to do this and have it be a job or whatever. Something that helps provide for both me and Emily, so... Thank you guys. Wait. Why does Kane have 1 HP? Oh, I didn't get the ult reset? Oh well. I mean, I've learned pop. Wait, how do we not have. Stop. Oh, Potnamara with the 6 gifted. Thank you. Hey man, I know you in school, so make sure you take care of yourself too, man. I really appreciate the gifted subs though, man. Might as well be me. You're beating Joker now? Hell yeah. Well, I guess I'll say worth them. Still mid. I guess I have to worry about Kane. Very low mana. It's okay to be yeah, let me back off. If you're bad. Kane's here. Rise could be heading top. Nice. Perfectly timed for my goal, too. Alright, I got Prowler's Claw. So I'm literally just gonna prowl on this guy. He's just gonna insta die. Yeah, we're just gonna go full with Aldi. That sounds fun. Look at their team, they're all squishy. I mean, I guess Rise can build Zanya. 
And he's got the Immortal Shield build, but I mean, besides that, pretty freaking squishy. Ugh. I don't see a team. By the way, guys, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm I'm getting muscle. I'm uh. I am uh getting muscle here. I'm feeling good. I'm working out. I am uh I'm feeling pretty confident in, in myself lately. Like I'm not close to where I was in college still. But um I feel like I'm yeah, I'm getting there. Hey, the Sludge Brain, thanks for the uh, Twitch Prime for three months, Whoa. Swall. I'm feeling like it. Yeah, I did, um, I usually don't do this, but I did, um, I did chest day, then back day, or, or sorry, chest day, then leg day, back to back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just thought I'm in a little bit. Holy shit, that does so much damage. You guys see that combo? Wait, can I Q and Prowl at the same time? Or is that not a thing? Yeah, Prowl's Claw, it's like, it's just instant engage. Like, I'm dealing so much damage right now. Oh, they got first heart, damn. Time ahead mid. I think it's time to head mid. Uh, will we get Yomu's? Yeah, probably Yomu's for the move speed, right? Oh, Yomu's built out of a pickaxe now. Interesting. Yeah, I guess it doesn't give ability haste now, right? Um, I probably have to go back top, to be honest. This guy needs to back, so I'll push this wave. Better call traveling, cause I'm... Oh, wait, I thought... <laughs> I, th I thought my Evelyn was going in, but then he just rifted. <laughs> okay, well, I tell... I dealt so much damage right there. You guys see the damage I just dealt? It was um kind of OP. Like I actually just one shot the rise without anything like hitting my Q or anything. Actually, maybe I did hit my Q. Still. Hmm. Here. Oh wait, I need 200 gold, so... Wait. Actually, one combo killed that big Krug. You think Kane walks through here? Isn't he just dead? Oh my gosh, he actually just died. <laughs> you guys see that combo? Holy shit. Yeah, we need to shut down this, uh, Lori Strood. Or Strood. So this is what the bench looks like. Go. Um, hmm. I guess we get Edge of Night next. Oh, no, you know what? We should, we should get the Collector. Because if I W and, like, since this item gives crit chance, if I W and I have all this lethality and I crit with that W, it'll actually do, like, 1k plus damage. And, like, basically true damage, too, right? Why are the cards golden now? I think they're supposed to, like, it's supposed to show that they're, like, they give the most gold to newer players. So, like, a lot of the changes they're making for Season 11 is to try to, like, make it easier for new players to understand. Uh, certain things. But, you know, I'm all down for it.
I was gonna ult him. But, but, he just died. <laughs> I was, wait. He just died. Holy shit. Oh no. So, I have 21 lethality, 18 lethality, plus an additional 5, so... Yeah, they have like 50 armor right now, I'm doing true damage. So like, I mean, I'm doing basically true damage to the majority of their team. What is the dash item? It's Prowler's Claw, man. Although I did, I did like the Stride Breaker. Oh, wait, this guy's just dead, right? Um. <clears throat> mm. Yes. Perfectly balanced. Yeah, it was probably a waste to use my flash to kill the Jace, but I really won that pop off moment there. Watch it. What the ref doesn't see is legal. Get foul. You think he was alt f 4 there? I think he went the bush alt f 4 Alright, well, I'm just gonna get more of LB. Yeah, I think he- I think he just gave- I mean... He just got caught out, right? Like, he probably didn't expect me to stay. Okay, my- Wow, my Varus, who's 2 and 4 against the 9 and 3 MF, and he's down 70 sets, he actually has a bounty. That was probably the stupidest change that I've seen Riot make with the bounty system. Ooh, he tried to take my red buff. Has one hitting two people at the same time balanced? Uh, I mean, I am pretty fed, to be fair. At the same time, oh man. got the ulti right as I got the Q there, maybe I could have killed, but... Halfway to one year. That's the one thing I don't like about Prowler's Claw, is that uh, it has a pretty long cooldown, right? So it's mostly used for like 1v1 situation. I'm full HP. Oh, if I could just auto her, I would have killed her. I don't have ghosts or anything up. If I got an auto right there on her, then I would have killed her 100%. Because, like, I had my uh, my stacks up. So this is giving me an additional 155 attack damage when I proc it. And I already have 337. Yeah. Wait, what did I see here? Wait, didn't I see... Oh, I did. By the way, I can dash through this, too. I don't have to dash through a champion. I can dash through minions too. That's a that's a real nice part about it. <laughs> so P, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Uh, actually, yeah, I should do this. I'm gonna build that shit. Oh, well, actually, I don't know. What I'm doing. If they can kite, if the MF can kite properly with Karma, I am going to have some issues. Because the Prowler Claw Dash, even though it's pretty nice, it is relatively short range. Like, look at this. Like, MF range is longer than that. So she can stay on my range, or like, if I get CC'd by Rise and Karma into an MF ulti, I just insta-die because I'm so squishy. 
But I'm also one-shotting everybody, so if they get anywhere close to me, uh, you just die. JCFK? Yeah, I was about to say, like, I'm pretty sure he was, like, in middle fault at flooring on that, like, on this kill up here. Because he just, like, randomly stopped, right? He's probably like, screw this, I'm out. Okay. I'm gonna kill Karma first, actually. If I can switch up. <sighs> That's what I was scared of, man. Like, I, I, wow. I just, I need Ghost. I couldn't catch up to the Karma. Damn it. Uh, I need, I need, mm, you want, I need to stick with my Lulu? I need my Lulu to buff me out. I think that's what needs to happen. Oh, wait, can't she kill her? Oh, wait, she's got the Moral Shield, though. Well, I'll have my Ghost and Flash up. I don't see any animations, so I don't think they're doing it. Because you, you can see some kind of animation fog war if they're doing it. Alright, you know what? We're going to build one more Othality item, and then we probably just build Dead Man, so at least have a little bit of armor. T-Crisis! With 20 gifted subs! Welcome back, dude! It has been too long! Holy shit! Yo, what's up, my man? How's life been? Thank you for the support, as always. Alright, well. Wait, he's taking all my, my fruit. <laughs> she just BAM! <laughs> she just Damn it! I think her mortal shield bow proc there and saved her. Because that should one shot her, right? But her shield bow proc to saved her. The anti burst, man. Hmm. Wait. What if? What if I built this just against Karma? And against the shield bow NMF. I've never built the Serpent's Fang. But if I was to build it, this sounds like it would be the game, right? But just because they have karma? Somebody had to be me. And now I need to build Dead Man's just so I don't insta die to MF. She just like literally just pulled up and shot me in the dome. Soon all will join me. I d Hey, yeah, Fog, nice to see ya. Nice to see you, TT Crisis, man. Oh, red buff's gone. <laughs> I think we group together. Alright, we gotta band together, guys. We need to get this Baron so we can end. I'm making a Darius movie right now. This is part of the movie. Speed me up! Kill. Ah, I'm not gonna type it. Yo, Kill, you need to W me there, and Lulu needs to W me. Alright, we just do it. Like, they're not even checking it, so. Damn it. I think my... 
good god, that damage against me. I mean, I'm very not tanky, right? I'm full damage, but still. Alright, well, we need to get this ocean. And we got Kale scaling, right? Oh my lord, my damage. Hey, ghost, man. Hundred damage in one W on the rise there. Good God! Just co collector procs off my bleed too, right? So collector is actually really good on dot champs, I think. Um, I don't, I can't walk up. Oh, no, and, oh, thank goodness. Whew. I thought we actually weren't going to get the end there. All right, guys, we're going to be doing Conquer Resolve into the uh, Urgot top lane. Uh, we took Sec Wind, we took uh, Unflinching, because uh, her team has a lot of, like, slows and peel and whatnot. I'm gonna walk up with my Q once these three minions get low. I didn't get the minions, but I did get the stack on him. Did I die here? Hmm. Well, got no minions, but. Look at his health, man. Like, he has Doran's Blade, too. Oh, thought my key would get him. That's his flash down too. So flash for flash, and he's chunked out of lane. Whose house? My house. Get foul. Nice. I mean, he's level 1. I think he's a little bit troll there. Like, as long as he didn't level 2. Like, if he hit level 2 and hit me with a uh, with his E, then I'd for sure die. Oh, no! You see? Oh, how unlucky. I queued the minion wave, and Shaka was right there, so I took minion aggro. Or turd aggro. Oh, my goodness. That's unlucky. Anyways. <laughs> Perfectly played from Shaco? I, I guess so. I guess so. I mean, that's the way it is. <laughs> We're gonna rush Tabby, so I think. Actually, should we rush? No, no, we rush Tabby. So we got Tenacity on our runes, and we have Unflinching. So going Tabbies against, the, like, Urgash is too good. Plus, our main damage is gonna be coming from the uh, Twitch. Okay. Okay, I mean, he's eating into me, and he's this far behind. He's just dead. Wait. Unless I auto a minion. I swear, I auto minions more playing Darius than playing any other champion. Is Shaco going round two for the outplay? What the rep doesn't see is legal. The Shaco is kind of low, right? You are play. I win.
guy's level 2. Mm, if we hit that, maybe we could have gone all in against him. I don't know. I'm gonna head back, though. Doesn't look like he's hard shipping it. So Wave's actually gonna be in a pretty good spot here. Grab this, and I'm actually gonna build in the Cleaver first. Actually, no, I take that back. We're going Stripebreaker. My favorite item on Darius. We get a pickaxe here. Just, I mean, we want damage, right? Because we're just so far ahead that, I mean, honestly, we just want to kill him as fast as possible. Are gods disrespecting the uh, Darius damage? Yes, sir. I got flipped in so I could kill the Shaco. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's why I started. I, I knew Urgot was going to flip me too. So I kind of played into that fact. Hey, what's up, Plappin? Greetings from Austria? Yo, greetings, man. What is exactly his attack moving? It's just moving in between auto attacks. Oh, shit. We go back. Back up here in case the shit goes coming up. I think I'll grab the Hearthbound Axe, just so I can get the move speed. So this is essentially, re like, replacing Phage in our build. Because they've changed Phage for, uh, for Season 11, right? But, uh, Hearthbound is basically the new, new Phage in the Stridebreaker item. Uh, helps us a lot in setting up our combos. There's no I in team, but there is one in Darius. Hey, what's up, Toasty? I've been doing pretty good, man. Thank you for asking. We're being up on an Urgot right now. Like my kids, take a closer look. Oh, okay. I swear, if I like, if the enemy team Darius did that to me and I was playing Urgot, that would hit. one play here and we can reset oh wait I need to stay for one more wave it's not greedy for me to do it either just because I'm so far ahead like there's no way he can punish me for it and I get one more wave and I get strike breaker it should be a huge spike back up here yeah so stride breaker is basically like a mini dash that does damage slows and can be used in mode of my queue to help set up my combo like this item is insane on Darius and 
because of the the mythic passive giving me extra percent move speed, it's so nice. I think I can just ghost on him. Yeah, I'm ghosting. Ghosting? Yeah, he can't get away from it. You see how the stride breaker really set my, my full combo? And it adds in an extra slow, along with my, like, I already have slows with my, uh, my W and my E. That's in that extra slow so I can stick on to people better too. Yeah, it's so broken. And uh, this heroic gate is basically the phage passive from before. So it applies not only on my, um, my auto attacks, but now my physical damage too. Oh! If I'd gone that, he would have just died again. Well. But you see how I use my stride, break, stride breaker mid Q, getting the stride breaker damage and slow, and pushing me in range so my Q hits. And this shit is on a 15 second cooldown. You see how that slowed? So now I can stick on them easy. Well, I'm worth 1k gold right now. Okay, so I can't screw up or we just lose. Does it give me any bonus health? This gives 300 health. 100% attack speed and attack damage. So it gives me a light gold bit of tankiness. And, I can, and it can even be used like on minion waves like that. Help me clear. And now I could just build full tank if I wanted to. Which, mm, actually, I'm gonna build Deadman's. And Deadman's Plate, the nice thing about the Season 11 for, for Darius, Deadman's Plate, like, it builds out of this item, which grants 5% move speed. So I'm gonna be getting 30% move speed from uh, dealing any physical damage. Uh, I'm gonna be getting 3% move speed for every uh, legendary item I have, which Deadman's Plate is a legendary item. This gives 5% move speed and the flat move speed on top of it. Making it just really insane for, for getting onto a target. Uh, I'm gonna sit here. Let's hope that Xerath doesn't have it warded. That way I can just run up on him. <laughs> okay. Oh. That's Xerath's flash. That was easy. Oh yeah, and the Skettle Crabs, they have this shield now. going to tank. The Urgot might path through here. We spinning, we winning. Hey, Green Fires, thanks for a sub for 38 months, man. I appreciate you. There's no I in team, but there is one in Darius. Watch it. Every lane is one lane. Yeah, it's all good, Green Fires. We're going to play Among Us tonight. At 6 p.m. Central, if you're down to play. Uh, Adrian said he's gonna play. An enemy has been slain. I don't Quick substitution. Right. I think I'm a dead man's. Let's 
do this. So now we're going to have a bunch of move speed to stick on our target. We're going to be fairly tanky. Our bot lane is really far behind. We just need to shut down their mid, make sure he doesn't get fed at all. Uh oh. Maybe Shaco might be an issue too. Hey, he's actually got the most kills. She pinged the right one. <laughs> I didn't even know he was there. I was actually looking for Zara. Oh my gosh, I'm so tanky. Wait. <laughs> you even got spooked. Wait, Don't break. that was unlucky. <laughs> oh no, I'm so dead. Oh! Wait, he's dead to the bleed, right? <gasps> no! Oh wait, I killed him now. <laughs> I'm saying gold reset complete. I killed that. I killed that Shaco though. What are we getting? I think I have more movement. Uh, actually, it's not really. Uh, let's see. <laughs> How about his PD? Uh, PD is pretty bad, right? What does it recommend? Oh, okay, it recommends this. I guess we'll get quicker. Force of Nature actually could have been pretty good too, because this gives me move speed every time I receive magic damage too. Yeah, Wits End got changed a little bit. Oh, no. Nice. Okay. I avenged Emmy. Oh, rip Frazz. Mm, let's get out of here. And we're getting so many kills. Alright, let's kill the Cleaver. This time is pretty insane. So I deal percent missing health damage uh, when I get my Cleaver fully stacked, which, I mean, Darius can stack Cleaver very easily. Uh, let's grab this. Go towards Starks, make us even more tanky. And then we could build like Force of Nature last item. Because they don't really have a lot of magic damage, right? So it's more about the move speed while getting a little bit of MR. 
Hey Fog, back on stream. Hey, welcome back, Lightning Fist. It's good to see you here, man. Good to see you here. All right, let's see how many kills we can get. I don't see <gasps> Oh my gosh, I can't get... <laughs> I'm just permanently CC'd. No, I got owned. I got CC after CC on me. I couldn't even get close to him to the Shaco. Those bad men, we got owned. I think I hit two. Wait! 200 years? Yeah, Samaria, that's a champ. Yeah, I think I ran into three Shaco boxes and I got rooted by Yumi too. Like, their team can actually cut me really well if they, like, layer their CC well enough. And I have unflinching and tenacity, but still. It's like so much. Wow, that's the latest Penta I've ever seen, but congrats, man. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to say I set up that Penta by running in and absorbing literally 100% of their cooldowns. We an Ocean Dragon. I'm on the way. Oh wait. I thought one auto would kill. I'll be completely honest. Oh, Twitch. What's up, baby? <laughs> I think he's had enough, man. He's got 11 deaths this game. I cannot believe I just flashed into that. Holy shit. Wait, the fucking Samira damage. Nice. I'll fight everybody. Alright, let's end this game. We got 21 kills in 23 minutes. Uh oh. You guys see the stride breaker Q combo? That's my favorite. Also, he healed like half his HP in one auto. Hi guys, so playing uh, Conqueror, Resolve, Darius top lane into a Fjord with Ignite. That'd be interesting. Well, um, Any game I, play is a home game. I think Fjord probably beats me up early. I think once I get level 3, I actually do pretty well. Plus, I can always build just Ninja Tabby Bramble, just completely own her. I don't feel Okay, so G4 started red. Maybe he started our blue even. I get level two ganked. I can't tell what's going on. When you finish training. Because it is a G4, right? G4 can totally do that. I mean if anything I'd burn my ghost, right? There's no I in team, but there is Okay, so that's your flash. I can't believe she got E level 2 instead of uh, Riposte. 
So I think if she rep like if she got repost, she didn't have to flash there. But she could just repost and disengage. But this is really good for me. Rip cannon. If I got the Q heal, I would have killed. It looks easy, but I'm just that good. Back off. Okay, it's yes sixteen. Better We're done here. Let me reset this battle just by walking out of range. First blood. No stunt. The only thing about going for a Q flash is like if the Fjord is expecting it, which is like a very like straightforward move. Just because Darius Q takes a while to like charge up. And if you're a posse, I'd just die. When I could just take a large lead just by holding on my side here. And taking her out this way. I got a 29 to 9 advantage here. What the ref doesn't see is I probably want to know if the J4 was looking a little too gank if I look to avoid it. He's not walking out. Watch it. I play the game. That was a really good I cue. I think I just uh, so push this in, reset for tabbies, and then uh, it'll push back to me. Somebody had to be me. Might as well be me. Don't hate the player. Hate yourself. Straight road. See a team. I see okay. I got Tabby, so I can build another cloth armor towards Bramble. Wait, they made Bramble cost less this season? <laughs> what on earth? Why would they do that? Yo, Rip Fiora, seriously. I got Tabby's right now, and she does like all auto attack damage, right? I'm gonna get the Bramble after, and it's gonna cut down her healing. She's just gonna end. <laughs> yeah, I think as soon as I get. Tabby Bramble, but she just can't play the game. The Katarina dies here. Nice. Well played. Looks like we're up against some fans on the uh, on the PB. Mm, she wasted her post. Okay, the wave throws him back towards us too. So I think we get enough minions for our Bramble Vest and then we back. Uh, which actually, yeah, we have it now. This is perfect. So this wave is going to crash into each other, and it's going to take out the next wave. Wow, well, that's actually so ridiculous how strong this is going to be. So Bramblefest really cost 800 gold. Why, why would they do that?
And then Thorn Metal is now 60% Grievous, right? Oh, I also want to immobilize the champion, so I use my E, right? I can apply 60% Grievous. Yeah. The fact that, like, so many things apply 60% Grievous now is going to really screw up Fiora for Season 11. Oh, I really didn't get the cannon? Okay, so 60 to 22. This guy can't really walk up. Let's say Fjorn went first item executioner. Yeah, she's going to be really squishy for a long time. Team, but there is one in Darius. Uh, plated Steel Caps is uh, essentially Ninja Tabby. They just changed the icon and called it a different name. I don't know why. I thought Ninja Tabby is a perfectly fine name. hit this final. I'd prefer it to be on the bot side. I didn't hit either Q, but it didn't matter since she missed her apost. If she hit her apost, she actually had a good chance of killing me. Just because she took Ignite, right? So now that we got these two items, I'm going to pick in my favorite item in Darius, which is Stridebreaker. Um, let's see, let's get this and the Ruby Crystal. I'd rather get the Moose Speed first. Get the wave on my side. What the ref doesn't see is. I was thinking that if she had a word behind her here, that she would see Nocturne, so I had to like ghost immediately and force. Oh, that's true, because Nocturne can just spell shield the repost. Wait, Nocturne sounds like it'd be pretty good against Fiora then, huh? It's a G4. I have Flash if G4 comes in like Ultimate or Turret or something. Oh, he's actually down here. Oh, wow, the double just like root and snare. There's no reaction time for that one. I actually flashed that perfectly with my Q. Okay. 
shove this in. Are Nocturnes really fed? Oh. Damn it. I really went first blood turret. Well. I can sell my Doran Shield for a Stridebreaker. Honestly, the G4 should have just shoved the wave with Fior there, since you knew I just backed. What I'm doing to this Fior is why you see so many Darius bans. Yeah, I mean, if you take Conquer Resolve, man, there's not many champions in the game that can contend with Darius. That can deal with top Darius. Um, yeah, and some like range champs, but like with season 11, you got all kinds of dashes on items, man. You got Gale Force, Stride Breaker, and um, Gale Force, Stride Breaker, and Prowler's Call that can all give you a dash on champions that aren't meant to have dashes. Like they're balanced around the fact that they're immobile in that regard. Oh, close. I oh. don't give one hundred percent. Still drive by. I should go bottom here. I wonder if we should just build a full on thorn mode. Wait, this guy got a knee force? I guess it gives a lot of move speed. He's gonna get like Swifties with that too. Kind of OP. I think most gyms probably will build equips though. The thing I like most about Stride Breaker is that it like you can use it mid uh mid dairy skill. <laughs> They're trying to give me the kill. <laughs> I thought the guy might flash over the wall, so I like preemptively did my kill. I saw Ezreal went and covered top, so I just like decided to stay bottom since I saw they came back. So their win condition was basically through bottom, and I think with us like double killing them twice is gonna make us make sure we win. Alright, I got 3,500 gold to spend too. Holy shit! I think I just buy dead man's here, just for the extra move speed. Move speed is critical on Darius. Then let's build an Inthorn. I don't think we have to worry about Katarina damage for a little bit. Honestly, maybe not ever. She does have a little bit of burst, but we, we're gonna have so much HP. We can also build this Ruby Crystal to Sterix, which actually gives so much tankiness this season. They took out the Tenacity, but I think they gave it more of a shield. Just because it, it's based on how many times you're dealt damage. Get yeah, I don't know why.
accidentally W'd the turret. But you guys see I flashed with the stride breaker there. <laughs> like I actually did that so so well. Mm. You guys just dead, right? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Stride Breaker is like a very short dash. Like, I'll show you it in a second. But on top of it, uh, like, lunging you forward, it also deals 200 damage. Deals 200 damage and slows them by 60%. So you can Q Stride Breaker forward to make sure you get that, that extra range that you need. So let me just show you right here, just so it's really visible. Like that. Is what it looks like, and it does the slow and the AoE damage. Maybe we should back up before Katarina triples us. <laughs> oh! Living! Alright, let's get back. <laughs> I really don't want Katarina just kill us all with the resets. Yeah, I guess we're debating them pretty hard. Um, actually, yeah, I want Thorn Mill. Right. And now we can build something like Force of Nature, which gives us more move speed. So with Force of Nature, it gives us move speed when we take ability damage. So it doesn't necessarily have to be um, magic damage, but taking damage from abilities, which could be any binary team, will give us extra move speed, and the item gives us move speed itself. So there's an armor item and a magic resist item that gives uh, move speed now, which is pretty nice. The thing about Prowlers is Prowlers doesn't give any defensive stats. This at least gives me 300 health. And it has a long cooldown. And it's single target rather than AoE. Ooh, that was kind of nifty. Ability haste is essentially CDR, but just slightly, slightly different. Oh my gosh, you're so fast, especially with the karma speed up. Alright, they surrendered. Alright guys, playing Season 11 Darius this time. We're playing against a Gurn with Conqueror Domination. Damn, he's gonna be healing, huh? Uh, let's see, the cause it. Honestly, they're all the OAD, so I think it's just Ninja Tabby game for sure. Wait, isn't this bad for him? I was about to say, he can't do that. As illegal, sir. Uh, let me use my potion. And I can play up and aggressive into him. What the ref doesn't see is legal. You put a ward down in case Kha'Zix comes up. Watch it. Darius knows. Dark. 
I was actually worried he'd kill me there. Just because he got the silence off before I can get my Q off. That turned out to be fine. Okay. Yeah, we get Ninja Tabby here. The lane's gonna bounce back towards us, and then this guy's gonna get owned. Yeah, so we build Tabbies here. Uh, do we build Bramble? Honestly? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's build Bramble. Bramble only costs 800, so Ninja Tabby Bramble is going to cut down on guaranteeing since you went Conquer Domination. Seems like you went to quite a bit. I mean, they have Triple Conquer and they have a Fleet 4 Kaelin. So, good healing overall. Uh oh. Well, he can go to that crab. Wait, he feared a minion. <laughs> nice. Mm, I think I'm just hard shove. Hey, Das Gruber! Thanks for the sub for 23 months, man. I appreciate you. Finish training, train more. Okay. Let me grab a plate here and the what? Grab one plate here. Minion should finish that off for me. Go back in the bush. That's one sixty. All right, so we got Bramble Fest, and uh, we're gonna start building towards Stridebreaker, my favorite item on uh, on Darius, just because it extends our Q range and gives us an extra slow to uh, stack up our our passive. Better call traveling, cause I'm. <coughs> and it gives extra percentage move speed with every uh, with every legendary item we build. Rinse all other legendary items, 3% move speed. Win or go home. Okay, waves on my side. Garen's missing. I burn the playbook. Wonder how far he has to walk up for me to just be able to like ghost on him and kill him. Probably like right here. I got his uh, range minions. I don't see a team. I see coattail passengers. He's not walking up though. There's no I in team, but there is one in Darius. Yeah, as soon as I saw him walk to that point I pointed out earlier, I just instantly went in. 
And I figure I could all in, and then the Cossacks being there actually worked out in my favor. Watch it. Back. Yone is missing. Hadn't been back to lane in a while. Instead of DC, Balsa could just be roaming. Oh, he actually took overheal. Is my lane. An enemy has been slain. What passing? The Caitlyn's a little bit ahead, but Yone DC'd or something. Ooh, camera the roam. Back off. Don't hate the player. Hate yourself. Get fouled. Okay, looks like he died for it. Straight roll. We can carry a bowling. so many new items to learn well th that's part of the fun of it though right it's like relearning a bunch of like your champions that you play with uh, the new item sets that's why I'm, I'm making like the movie like this just so that like on this champion you can take a look at it like uh, a couple different item sets now given Darius has a lot less items he can work with compared to something like Trinmere that did movie on already but you'll be able to see, like, um, me take this uh, setup against multiple different types of champions. Yeah, we could just dive him. Poor Garen. Damn, he even predicted the fiddle coming and he tried backing off, but the Cossacks went in, so he got baited. <laughs> Back off. Better call traveling, cause I'm going places. Yeah. I think we get this and then we build towards Dead Man's. And try to head our way towards bottom. Be the uh, best option. Dead man. I don't see the team. I see coattail passengers. An ally has been seen. A sharp picker should be pretty good. You head here. No. Oh no. Fuck it! Is 
I hate that I can't ulti while rooted. I know I'm like slightly dashing forward when I, when I use my ulti, but still, I think it's kind of dumb. What? It looks easy, but I'm just that good. Oh, I got five plates bottom. Or Tom, maybe we get five place bottom too. Actually, I don't know if we could do it in time. I make it happen. Yeah, there's back in time. Wish it was Infernal Map, but it hasn't changed. We could have the point here. called alcove gaming a dark samus 3 thanks for twitch prime man appreciate you the thorn mail belts out a giant spell now even if giant spell is a little bit different yeah we got four plates well we got look, we got 140 cs in 15 minutes plus we got 10 kills and nine plates we got two turrets worth of gold that were actually so fun Around mid, actually. I don't think Garen is there in the way. Oh, Yone's back. Don't break rules, dump them. Right. Oh. So, wait, we're fine. <laughs> oh man, I actually just tanked so much damage. I got the Caitlyn's Flash. Oh, the healing. Get the Garen! Wait, I'm still tanking. Thorn mail. That way, this 13 does no damage for me. Wait. Nice. 
nice. I actually got the reset off that. Right back. I got no mana. There's three dash items that are all viable on Darius. Like, if you take a look at all the items, man. Like, um, for the fighter category, you have, um, Stride Breaker. For the Assassin category, you can actually go, uh, Growler's Claw, and it's okay. And then for the, uh, ADC category, you can actually go Gale Force, and this dash is actually the most broken. It's so good. Uh, anyways, let's see. Honestly, I feel like building an Infinity Edge. I mean, this game's kind of over, right? Go build IE. I don't give 100%. Uh, the items are all mythics, so you choose one of them. And then you build based off it. Gale Force gives crit. Prowlers gives lethality. And Stridebreaker gives, um, boost speed. I'm gonna go after a thrush. Damn, Seraphim looks fucking broken. I'm fast. Oh my gosh, that damage. Mm, I was thinking about flashing there, but I'll set against it. Wait, my ult's cancelled. What happened to my ult? Wait, I don't even know what happened to my ult. It's like he went back and it just cancelled or something. Yeah, it's a 15 second cooldown on this. Just ridiculous. And I can use the dash uh, mid-Q. Dealing the damage, getting the slow, and repositioning my Q slightly. I got this playing against Kale in uh, for Season 11, Darius. We'll see how this matchup goes. I think Kale can actually do pretty decently against Darius in Season 10. We'll see how the matchup goes here. This should be pretty good for me. Oh! Oh, pain! Can I get an F in the chat for that one? That was very tragic. Oh, it was just like one millimeter off. Oh well. I guess this still got ghost. Damn it. I almost had my key back up. That's flash from both of them, right? So, Kane level 2 ganked. Oh, this kill's so dead. Yeah, I got the return kill. Damn, it sucks I wasn't able to kill the kill level 1 because I just barely miscalculated my uh, my Q flash range. Wait, that's like half our HP. Wait, what kind of damage did I just do this kill? How about... Like, item swords tabbies. I 
Shaco is ambitious. But at the same time, honestly, that does good for me. Just because he's so chunk now. I mean, he got in my pole range, so he just dies. That's just how this matchup goes early on. The Kale has to really play the range right in order to win. And with me getting that kill early on, then him dying, was like really bad for him. Actually, should I get Tabby's this game? I shouldn't, right? I mean, I could get Tabby still, just because it's... ETA kill. Not too bad. <clears throat> the move speed by itself would be pretty good. I could also go Swifties here too. Because they got a lot of slows, but eh, well, it's good tabbies. Get a little bit extra. Um, hope this. We're going to go Stride Breakers game for sure. Thanks, Stride Breakers. Really solid. Yeah, I went Solarity and Nimbus Cloak just to help stick on the kill, too. It's gonna be really important for the matchup. Whoops. Press Q there instead of tab. Okay. Kale's no flash. My flash comes up before Kale's, and my ghost comes up before Kale's flash. So, the wave's in a good spot. I'm just gonna keep it here. And then I'll. Take advantage of how far overextended he is. He has no boots either. As long as I'm patient for my ghost, there's no way that she lives. Yeah, there's just no counterplay for there. The matchup's too far gone for her, I think. I don't see a team. I see coattail passengers. Oh. Let's um let's go towards Stripe Breaker. That's my favorite I'm Darius. Let me get the Hearthbound Axe first. Actually, I don't even need the move speed. I could just go straight pickaxe here. Be slightly stronger, I think. Just so I can get more AD. Yeah, essentially this Darius movie that I'm making with all these games is I'm gonna do a combination of three hours of my best Darius gameplay all put into one. You should just wait for the Darius to push in. I mean, the thing was, it was frozen, right? So it, it would literally just stay in my side forever if I wanted. Yeah, he got his ulti. Wave's frozen, so he's just. It's just doomed for him. Oh, how can I get vision there? There's no eye in team. So last stack of bleed get vision randomly. Hey, what's up, Deskiller? Thanks for continuing the gifted sub from Joker. Watch it. Damn, that cane wanted you, Emmy. Well, Kale's no flash. Actually, no, she should have flash. But she has no ulti. I have my flash. When or go home. An enemy has been slain. Keep your head on a swivel. Yeah, I don't think Kale plays the game anymore. I mean, maybe she can go mid. 
in my like, lane with Silas or something, but yeah, it's over. I was actually really close to Stridebreaker. If I'd gone that, then it, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's no play the game for this guy. Somebody had to be me. Did they buff the attack speed on Darius? Um, no, I did take attack speed on my rune. I don't think they did. I think I can. Just... Okay. Since I beat him in lane, now he's just trolling and inting. That's a classic top laner. By the way, I'm not going to show it on, on the video, but this Kale has an extremely racist name. So it's like good that she's going to be enough. Wait, do I not stack up bleed while she's ulting? Wait, that's actually kind of like OP. Because if she cuts out even just like a little bit, then she can ulti and reset my bleed. And if only it worked that way for trend. The cane also has an extremely racist name, if I remember correctly, from the loading screen. The fact that I'm just crushing both of them. Oh, I forgot. I could be using my Iron Spike Lip. I totally forgot about this. Ooh, that Cogman's one HP. What the rep doesn't see is legal. Ooh, good combo. I got 4k gold, I'm gonna go back. And we'll just keep feasting on this kill. So this is what the bench looks like. Turret plating will soon uh, let's get dead man's for the chase and uh same reason. Oh we could just run people down. 
Uh, Stradbreaker also gives 3% move speed, too, for every legendary item, which Deadman's also gives 5%, plus 3%, plus uh, flat move speed. Yeah, we're gonna be moving fast. Right. Plus, uh, Stradbreaker also gives 30 move speed from dealing physical damage, including from our bleed. <laughs> Your team has destroyed a turret. Giving Darius a dash is very balanced, by the way. Better call traveling, cause I'm going places. Riot doesn't filter names, period. So yeah, if you notice, like, I changed the interface to have summer names only for this game, which I, like, never do, but basically their entire team's names are all racist. So I had to, uh, silence it. Or Cal, we can't say that. Not in this instance. Kale's getting what she deserves. Oops. I strike breaker into the inhib, so I didn't increase my rank. What the? I can't block. I can't block uh, his W Emmy. No, I can't. Block <laughs> his his pull cool thing or whatever that he, gets him closer. Yeah. No, yeah, no, he no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, no, you can't no, block no, no. him. He didn't use his. He used his W on you. Use his W. No, I promise. Check the mod. All right, I'm playing Darius Top Season 11 setup with uh, against Silas. Uh, Silas playing Ignite too. He's gonna to cut down my healing. I uh, went Ghost Flash just so I can run him down, catch him out in an all in. Now let's see how we can run this. Fun goals. Uh, oh, he's there. Okay. I got his flash and I got a huge chunk because I uh, five stacked him there. He started E, which is pretty common for Silas Top. So for the moment, he has no uh, he has no W for the healing. You all play. I will. All right, let me shove this in. Right, he used both his potions there. Uh, I'm still relatively healthy, and I haven't even used a single potion. Got the wave in a good spot too. Uh, I'm gonna ward here. Kane can come through here as well, but I ward his other route. He dubs into me. He just dies. He's in a really bad spot. He has no way to sustain. Right? He needs Kane to help him, and I don't even think Kane can because Kane's so weak early. When you finish training, train. Doesn't see is legal. I'm not gonna use my Q unless I can just hit just him. So I was waiting for him to make that mistake for him to commit too far up into me. 
even with him having a level advantage there, it just didn't matter since I had the, um, I, I could just full stack on him. And as long as I can get an all-in like that on Darius, uh, Silas can't compete. Silas has to be able to take short trades without getting full committed on, which, honestly, is probably really hard for him to do top lane. Me back up. This game, <clears throat> I'm gonna win Tabbies, but I don't really want to rush Tabbies against him. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go towards Stridebreaker. Just gonna get the Harbinger uh, axe or Hearthbound axe, not Harbinger. That way I can get move speed on auto. Plus it gives me a little bit of AD, a little bit of move speed, a little bit of everything that Darius wants. Hey, NW Beer Slayer 360, thanks for sub for four months, Let's man. I appreciate you. Honestly, size can probably go even if he, like, Q maxes, but. Or, like, um, maybe just gives up early CS, still W maxes, and uh, just uses W to get inside my Q. Whose house? My house. Also, push this in. Yeah, he, he's he's gonna build in the seekers first from what it looks like. It's all muscle. He has no healing. Yeah, he has no way to heal unless he like walks up and W's me, so I cut my distance. You want a piece of the D man? Oh, Seeker's only builds out one cloth? Well, maybe he's building Bramble. I, I don't know. Or maybe that's like one Seeker. One of the tabbies. We do have a lot of uh, AD, although we can have big our mid too. It's on how effective that'll be. And get uh, boots, right? Alright, so it's 53 to 21, way shoving back against me. I don't think he can shove this in in time before I come back to lane. I'd be surprised if he did. That's a lot of minions to clear, and it's a cannon wave, right? Am I liking Season 11 items? They're, they're so broken on Darius. That's just damn dirty. I don't play the game. I am the game. I, I think I just shoved this once. Well, actually, we're pretty close to Stride Breaker. I don't think the Silas has any pressure on us whatsoever. <gasps> oh no! I... Oh no, I messed that up so hard. Shit. I went too greedy, man. I fucking saw an opportunity to Q-Flash. 
And I think I missed it by like literally millimeter. Oh, okay, that's sad. I would have insta killed him if that hit. And if I insta killed him there, then I'd have my stride breaker. I'd be in a good spot. But now I'm just big sad. Yeah, F boys. Don't break rules. Oh well, at least the wave is like relatively even. So, well, I mean, Silas did have no pressure, right? The fucking turret, uh, however, had uh, some different. I, j I was just greeting. I, I should just back for my pickaxe. Because the wave is shown back against me, right? But... Oh, well. Wave's on my side. I have ghost. Talent. So I can still run him down. Period. Uh, Silas stealing my ult doesn't really do anything, actually, because he has no bleed stocks to increase the damage. So, yeah, Darius probably does just really well with Silas in general. Oh, man. Zed. Ooh, how played! I saw that one. Every lane is my lane. Get foul. It looks easy, but I just Nice. That's a little bit close. Shut down. My stats speak for themselves. Hmm, he has ignite, so maybe I can get this full turret actually. Because he's still dead for another two seconds. Zed went bottom too, so I'm worried about his room. Nice, first turret blood is huge. Silas with Darius Salt is like 100 true damage? Yeah, it's nothing. Okay, do I want Mercs? No, I want Tabbies. Against that team. And then I also want to build towards uh, Dead Man's. So I'll just build this and. Might as well be <clears throat> the rest of our team is all physical damage, right? And I shut down the Silas really freaking hard, so I don't have to worry about uh, magic damage at all. Whose house? I get a little bit of health from these items, but. Got the stride breaker damage for the assist. He shoved in. Muscle memory. Pop is slightly shoving back to me. I'm not sure if I'll stay Watch shoved. I don't see that team I see coattail passengers. My head top. I left top shoving towards me, so I can go back and collect farm. I forced their bot lane to cover mid. There's no I in team, but there is one in Derry. Back off! Yeah, let me see if I can make it down for this dragon. 
Because we definitely want to fight here, right? I'm really strong. Silas is top, and I've built full armor for this fight. Better call traveling, because I'm going places. Oh. I'm fucked. Good. Yeah, well, we should be able to get dragon, right? Actually, I don't know, man. We actually can't. We actually can't because Kane's back up. We should have come straight to it instead of me chasing Zed. He gets top turret. <clears throat> Our bot lane was really far behind this game. Okay, I should be able to get dead man's. This is huge, actually. Damn. If I could have gotten the Q damage there... I love how often I can use the Stride Breaker. Oh, he dude, right as I hold. Okay. I think we just get more armor. I think I build, um, probably like a thorn mail, right? Like just straight up, just like more armor. Oh, nice. I can actually get giant's ball for 900. It's really good. After, as long as I build like full armor, they just won't be able to deal damage to me, right? Now I'll also cut down on her healing. She's building double vamp items. Somebody had to be me. Might as well be me. <laughs> Mm, actually, I can go kill the Ash. Damn, he saw me in there? Even in the Nocturne Darkness? I was hoping to catch him off guard. <laughs> Damn it. 
He dunked me before I could dunk him. I don't think I would have killed though. Nice. Okay, it looks like our team's made a huge comeback since that early game deficit. Because my mid lane was pretty far behind, my bot lane is insanely far behind. But, looking better now. Um, we just fight for this next dragon. I think we can win off that dragon fight. I need thorn mill before the fight, if I can. It's all muscle memory. I don't know if Black Cleaver is really insane in this game, just because none of them are building armor, really. Like, their cane has the most armor with fucking tabbies. Nobody else even has tabbies. Well, I guess the Silas says Seekers, but it's also irrelevant. Oh, you know. He's gonna get picked off by Zed if he walks up. avoid any of that. Okay. Um, can we force Baron? Probably not. I got my stride breaker as my first item. Okay, we got Baron. Damn, the Ash did fucking damage to us still. Oh wait, no, maybe with Silas. Yeah, Silas maybe with some damage. Ooh. I actually got both of them. Okay. Alright, I guess it's time to build a little bit of MR. It's about that time. Uh, we just grab Negatron Cloak and then solve basically all of our issues, right? Give us 50 MR. I execute on goals. Okay, we can play for next objective. I don't play the game. Also, just uh, push out mid and group bot for this turret. We should try to get all the free objective gold we can.
Oh man, my stride broke was enough cooldown. Oh. They got a couple kills mid, so I could just rotate there. Try to protect Vagar, which I think we successfully did. Oh no, I could have gotten an E. What did I die to? Oh, I got hit by his W. Let's just grab Force of Nature and give us some more move speed. Yeah, yeah, because we want to stick. The Ash is doing so much damage to us. I guess we need Rend wins. I don't know. End runs would be most helpful after. Because we just need, like, tanky, like, beefy stats. He doesn't have any armor pen. And I feel like, I, I mean, I have 220 armor, and I'm just being shredded by the Ashen fights. I guess that Blade of the Ring King does work. It does physical damage, right? Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Darius no stop. Well, what else could I get with this? Oh, I could get Frozen Heart, but do I need the mana? Not really. I mean, this Ash is so dead. Just zoom in, actually. I got 585 boost speed for like next 20 seconds because the ghost cooldown. Perfect timing. Perfect. <laughs> 